all right guys so i want to show you how you can um, uh, set up automatic installation of uh, a linux server okay so today i am using uh, red hat enterprise linux version 8 enterprise linux 8 as you can see right there and i have configured a, a network file system on this server and exported it to my network so um, this folder is being exported to my network right here this is my network address okay so if you long list the content of your of the root home directory in the server you see the anaconda file anaconda-ks.cfg file okay so i'm just going to copy this file into my shared directory into nfs share so i will do copy anaconda into nfs share and rename it ks dash dot cfg okay so that has been copied so now if i move into the share and list the content the file is right there so if i list long list the file you can see that it has read write permission only for the owner and the owner is the root account so nobody can access this file however we want to make it available to the network that is why we are putting it in this share in the first place so there's no reason to put it in this share and not make it accessible to everybody okay so we will grant remote permission we will grant read permissions to everybody so i will do chomo plus read ks.cfg okay so if you long list the file again you can see that everybody has read permissions right now and pretty much that is it with the server okay so now the next thing is for me to pull up my virtual box and start a new server i will call it um, rare 8.ks for kickstart and i typically i have a dedicated hard drive that i use to store my virtual machines so I'm going to find that hard drive and put the hard drive for my virtual machine on it and just, oh, this name has already been taken, so I need to change it. Let me just do that CFG. Okay. I want to give it 20. 48 megabytes of hard of uh, memory and what okay next next i want to give it 25 gigabytes of hard drive space okay so i will do go to settings and import the ISO image, the installation media, the, the installation media is exported and then I need to bridge my network. Okay. So that is it. So right now I will just start the virtual machine. And once the virtual machine comes up, 
um, the virtual machine is coming up i will click i'll press on my the top key on my keyboard and then i will just say kickstart equals nfs colon and then i'll put in the ip address of my kickstart server that is i want to point this installation to a location of a computer in my to a computer in my network that has the installation media so the ip address of my kickstart server is 192.168.0.1.1 and the kickstart file is located at nfs underscore share and the file is ks.cfg okay and then um, the ks device is a we that's the, no eth0 that's the name of the uh, that's the name of the of the network uh, card that will be used for this connection and once that is done i will just press enter to continue the installation okay so the reason why we are doing this automatic installation is that uh, if you do a manual installation the installation is going to ask you for a number of questions like questions such as uh, what is your uh, your time zone uh, what language is your keyboard what language are you going to be using all those questions so this file this anaconda file has already answers for all those questions which means that once you reach this point you can just leave and go and do something else and that file is going to answer all the questions for you and the installation will get the answers from that file and just go through the whole installation without you uh, doing anything or answering anything on it okay so that is why this is important and it is also important in that if you want to install uh, several servers with the same kind of configuration, um, it's difficult if you're installing manually to come up with a number of servers with exactly the same configuration. Okay, so you can basically use this file to install a number of servers and have all of them have the exactly the same conf configuration uh, as your company may need. All right, I'm just gonna pause the video right now and I will come back when the installation is done. All right, so that's the installation starting. The installation has already started. Okay, so these are things right here that the installation would normally ask you to answer and even the root password, it gets the root password from that file, you don't need to give it a root password. So everything that the system needs to install itself is gotten from that file. Okay, and the installation is started. All those questions have been answered to the system by that file on your behalf and the installation has started and once the installation is done all you need to do is log in and start using your computer so I will just end the video here thank you for watching and stay blessed